um, I hope you're all doing well um, and that you enjoyed the last couple of videos. Um, tonight we are going to do a couple of different things. Um, Stephen is going to do a game with us and then Rowan is going to teach us the story about some fishermen. Um, so we're going to watch that now and I hope you all have a good week and you enjoy this video. Bye! Hello boys, I hope everyone's okay. We are going to play a game, one of Boys McGate's favourite games, a memory game. I'm going to show you some items on my tray and they have to remember everything that's on it and tell me what it's on my tray. Now I hope everyone can mind all items. I'm going to take one item away. Yes, that was a comb. Now the next item's away, can you guess what it is? Yes, that was a key. Next item's away, can you guess what it is? Yes, that was a car. Now, next item's away, It was a battle in this time. Now all items is back. And this time I'm going to take away two items. Now remember all items. The counter and the penny this time was away. Next two items away, can you name what they were? It was the chocolate and the earphone was away. All items is back again. Now, this time, I will take away three counters, three things. Now, what's the two items? Now, what three items did I take away? It was the key ring, the penny, and the 50 pence. Now, all the items are back. And this is the last go. Now, I'm going to take away five items. Can you tell me what all the five items are? The egg cup, the pen, the point coin, the key, and the counter was away. I hope you enjoyed it and had fun. And we will pass off the open for us talk. Thank you. Well, thanks for that, Stephen. Hello, boys. I uh, hope you're all doing well um, and that you've had a good couple of weeks. So we're just continuing on tonight with our um, stories in the Bible relating to different jobs that people had. So you can see there on the screen, uh, hopefully you might recognise that place. Um, if not, it's somewhere where you've all been. Um, and of course it's it's Portrush. And um, you can see the, the town there, but we're looking specifically there at the harbour. And uh, back in the day when, uh, not, not really nowadays, but... You know, a number of years ago, there used to be a lot of fishing boats in Port Rush Harbour, and, and there used to be quite a few uh, fishermen. Nowadays, there's a few boats that will take people out to fish, but um, not so many people who uh, who have a, a proper fishing boat uh, and, and fish for a living. But we're going to think about tonight about fishermen, and of course, um, in Jesus' day, there was there was quite a lot of fishermen around where he lived because um, there was Lake Galilee and a few other. Uh, lakes as well and of course the sea itself so it was very important and it still is today in certain parts of the world obviously the next time you have a plate of fish fingers or whatever obviously they just didn't appear out of nowhere some fisherman somewhere has caught those and uh, given the captain bird's eye or whoever to, to uh, turn them into your fish fingers so anyway we're just going to think about this tonight um, that it's from Luke chapter 5 in the bible and if you ever want to you can have a wee read at, uh, at that uh, at some stage yourself and this is where this story is from so one day Jesus was standing out by Lake Galilee and the crowd was pressing around him to hear the word of God Jesus saw two boats by the lake but the fishermen had got out of them and were washing their nets Jesus got into one of the boats, which was Simon's, and he asked him to put it out a little way from the shore. 
You see, Jesus, uh, he didn't want to get too close um, because there's so many people there. And he sort of used it as a pulpit. So then Jesus sat down and taught the crowds from the boat. When he finished speaking, Jesus said to Simon, Put out into deep water and lower your nets for a catch. Simon answered, Master, we have worked hard all night and we caught nothing. But because you say so, I will do what you say and lower the nets. That's what they did. And a few minutes later, when they done so, they caught so many fish that their nets started to tear. They obviously they'd never caught any anywhere near the amount of fish uh, that they had here. So they called for their partners in the other boat to come and help them, and they came and filled both boats so much that they both actually began to sink. There were so many fish; they were so heavy that the boats were both actually starting to, to sink. That's just how many fish there were. When Simon Peter saw that this had happened, he went and fell down at Jesus' knees saying, Go away from me, Lord, for I am a sinful man. For Simon Peter and all who were with him were astonished at the amount of fish that they had taken. They'd never seen anything like it. So there was Simon Peter there and there was also James and John who were Zebedee's sons and they were business partners with uh, Simon in the fishing business. Then Jesus said to Simon, don't be afraid, from now on you will be catching people. Now sometimes we hear that and we think um, that that means something else than it does. Catching people, it didn't mean like being a policeman or anything like that. To go and catch people, what Jesus meant was to go and tell them about him and what he meant was to catch them um, for him to be a follower of him. But it wasn't physically, they weren't physically caught, they didn't throw a net over them or anything like that. So it just meant to tell others about him so that they would become believers in Jesus. So when they had brought their nets to shore, they left everything and followed Jesus. Now that's quite a that's quite a fantastic story from a different a few different reasons there. The first one, of course, was that there was so many fish. Um, you know, obviously those guys have been fishing for years and they'd never seen anything like it. So for that to happen is pretty amazing. Uh, the second thing was they obviously realized that Jesus just wasn't another person because first of all he knew where the fish were but second of all just in the way he talked to people as well because he was speaking uh, to the people before and of course the fishermen would have been listening to him speaking while they were there and then the third thing of course the amazing thing these guys have been fishermen for years and Jesus said look I want you to leave your jobs leave what you're doing to earn money because of course they needed money to live and come and help me and they didn't even say oh let me think about it or I'm not so sure about that they all of them that right at the same time they just left everything and followed Jesus because they realized that Jesus they might not have realized he was the son of God at that stage but they certainly knew that he was definitely uh, someone special and I think actually they did uh, realize that he who he was deep down and Jesus calls us to do the same thing today uh, now we're not fishermen or anything like that but how we can follow Jesus is first of all ourselves by trusting in him and asking him into our lives and then of course to, to help us to, to read his word and to pray to him and then if we are followers of Jesus to tell our friends about him as well so that they might have a chance and that they might follow him too so that's 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 And so boys, our hope for you and why we do BB is so that we can tell you about Jesus. And uh, I know that some of you have asked him to be your special friend into your life. And, and that's our prayer for those of you who haven't, that someday uh, you will. And those of you who do know him, that you will tell your friends and others about him. 
So we're just going to pray now, uh, just before we go. Lord Jesus, we thank you for uh, that you came to earth, Lord, and that you were willing to to show us how we can become your special friend by asking you into our lives. We thank you for this story and how you called just ordinary fishermen uh, and they became your friends and how you allowed them to to help you and to, to do your work here, Lord, uh, on earth. We just pray, Lord, for us this week and next week, Lord, in school that you be with us and help us in all that we do. We just pray that you would keep us safe and our, our friends and family safe too. And for any who have been affected by the COVID virus, Lord, we would just pray for them that they would make a swift and a full recovery. We thank you for hearing these prayers, Lord, for it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, guys, well, that's it for another couple of weeks. Thanks very much for taking the time to tune in. We hope you're uh, enjoying these. And uh, if you want to get in contact with us for any reason at all, um, just email info at portrushpresbyterian.org and uh, the messages will get passed on to us. So we'll, we'll have another one of these up in a couple of weeks. Looks like this is going to be the way it is up to Christmas anyway. Hopefully in the new year, we hope and pray that uh, things will maybe settle down a bit and we'll maybe be able to, to get to meet at some stage. Um, on the not too distant future but uh, there'll be another there'll be another one out in a couple of weeks which obviously will be into the start of December uh, so we'll aim to have one then and one a couple of weeks after that just before Christmas and then we'll we'll see what January holds so until then folks um, have a really good couple of weeks take care of yourself and I hope everything's going well for you so we'll see you all soon bye <laughs>